Most people learn new words by only finding a new word, looking up the word in the dictionary or translator, writing it down, and memorizing it. This is a terrible method that will not allow you to naturally become confident using English at work. My method is so different. I help people deeply learn vocabulary. What's the meaning in a business context? How can you use the new word in many different business sentences? What's the pronunciation? Does it have multiple meanings? Are there other words that are commonly used with this new vocabulary word? Can you make your own sentence using this word? This is deep learning. Hi, it's Grant. In this video, I'm going to talk about the idea of deep learning and how I use deep learning and why I think it's absolutely essential. If you want to become confident communicating in English, it's not just about a little bit of learning. It's about deep learning. And I'll explain deep learning in detail and give you examples and how you can use it. I'd love to hear your comments about how deep learning can benefit you, not just in English learning, but in all aspects of learning. Enjoy the video. Deep learning means really understanding English, not just remembering a, a few words. It's perfect for business people who need to use English well. Imagine deep learning like diving deep into the sea where you explore every part of the language, not just what's on top. Deep learning is important because it's not only about knowing what words mean, it's about using them in the right way in different situations especially in business. This way of learning matches what scientists say about how our brains work. They found that when we really want to know something, we remember it better. This is why I believe that being so curious is so important. Curiosity is a key part of deep learning. Deep learning in business English involves several layers. It's not only learning what words mean, but how they interact in different contexts. There are synonyms, there are nuances, and how they're used in real life business situations. Here comes some crazy English. This approach aligns with studies in cognitive psychology, showing that a deeper cognitive processing of material leads to better retention and understanding. In normal words, cognitive psychology is the study of how our brains process language use, memory, problem solving, and reasoning. For instance, a study by the University of California, Davis, highlighted that Curiosity enhances learning and memory, which is a fundamental aspect of deep learning. One of my most inspirational clients helped me to understand the benefit of deep learning. He didn't discuss deep learning specifically at that time, but because he used all the steps of deep learning naturally, I came to realize how essential deep learning is. We would never go fast through any vocabulary. He wanted to fully and deeply understand each word, term, and, and phrase as we found new vocabulary. The result of his deep learning allowed him to become a very natural communicator in English with a full understanding of the language. He can do business anywhere in the world now. Confidently. 
Most people learn new words by only finding a new word, looking up the word in the dictionary or translator, writing it down, and memorizing it. This is a terrible method that will not allow you to naturally become confident using English at work. My method is so different. I help people deeply learn vocabulary. What's the meaning in a business context? How can you use the new word in many different business sentences? What's the pronunciation? Does it have multiple meanings? Are there other words that are commonly used with this new vocabulary word? Can you make your own sentence using this word? This is deep learning. Let's look at 10 steps to deep learning vocabulary skills. Step one, be curious. Develop a genuine interest in learning and understanding new words. Step two, understand the nuances. Recognize that words can have different meanings based on context. Step three, create a personal word list. Actively put together words and phrases that are relevant to your business field. Number four, seek additional words and phrases that apply to you. Make your vocabulary custom to your specific needs. Number five, understand collocations. Learn how words commonly combine in business English. Number six, understand business idioms and phrasal verbs. Become familiar with common idioms and different phrasal verbs and different expressions that are used in business. Number seven is to learn the words in sentences. Understand how your vocabulary fits into real business communication. Sentences to me are big key. Number eight, practice speaking out loud. Become comfortable saying the words and phrases out loud. You must get these words, these sentences to come out of your mouth. Number nine is pronunciation. Really focus on trying to pronounce words correctly so that you can avoid misunderstandings of other people that can't understand you. And Finally, number 10, use words confidently. This is a big key where you can make your own sentences using these new vocabulary words. That's when you really start getting comfortable using these. So you put these 10 steps together and everything can really start coming together. You, you start using these words and you say them out loud. It's a really, really important thing to review these 10 steps and use this as part of what's going forward for you in your deep learning process. It really works. So by using these 10 steps in your learning routine, you can develop a strong, deep learning skill. And this method isn't just about expanding your vocabulary. It's about really transforming, changing in a big way how you communicate in the business world. You need to think that each step is designed to take you deeper into the language, help you build a really strong level of comfort and to be able to use English naturally in your professional conversations. Here's an example of how I help clients learn vocabulary using my deep learning method. And I use this all the time. Here's an example. The example is the word presence. And in this case, presence is a noun. And as we go through this, presence is a noun has a definition. It's the fact that someone or something is in a certain place. I've got four example sentences for you using presence in a business context. And as you see, this applies to the 10 steps that I went through with deep learning. This is exactly what I use. 
Let's go through the example sentences. The presence of the CEO at the conference made a strong statement about the company's commitment to the industry. The second sentence, the small startup began to establish a significant presence in the crowded market thanks to its innovative approach. And the third sentence, your presence in the meeting is required to provide insights into the technical challenges. And finally, sentence four, with an impressive online and physical presence, the retail brand has become a leader in its sector. And you can see, instead of just using, here's the word presence, here's the definition of presence, when we include using presence in all of these different business-related sentences, the word, you really start to feel this word. And to me, that's part of deep learning. It's really feeling everything. In addition to that, and one of the steps in the deep learning was collocations. And collocations is a crazy word, but all it means is if I have the word presence, what are normal other words that might be combined together with the word presence? And that would be online presence, global presence, market presence, digital presence, executive presence, and competitive presence. There are many more collocations that can be used with the word presence. The word collocations always makes me smile, like who created this crazy word? But as you go through and you start using collocations as part of this, so these are normal words that combine together. Well, that just helps the whole deep learning process. So I ask all my clients and students to go through and say all of this out loud multiple times until it becomes confident coming out of their mouth. Finally, I ask for an example sentence. I'll ask you for an example sentence. In fact, you can comment below what your example sentence using presence is because you need to use this. And as one of the items in the list, you have to apply these words to your business, to your work life. So I'd ask you to take some time and write an example sentence using the word presence that would really relate to your business and to your world. So please comment below with your example sentence using presence. I appreciate it. So what can you do? How can you use this deep learning method? I think first you can start using this in your daily routine. I've given you a great example of how I use it. Feel free to copy this method. Start creating your own word list the same way. It really works. Dedicate time each day to really explore and practice all different kinds of aspects of business English. Being curious is so important. You can use these words at work. Use this new vocabulary in your work communication, in your meetings, and in your presentations. When you use these in a practical way, it makes learning much more natural. Also, you need to review and, and make changes if things aren't working for you. Measure your progress. Change your strategies a little bit if you need to. But continuing to review these and, and not just going through and saying, okay, here's the example word, here's the definition, and that's all. Go through the sentences. Say them out loud. Make additional sentences. That's deep learning. Deep learning isn't just a method. It's a journey. And it's a journey towards mastering business English confidence. And by committing to this journey, you're really setting yourself up for lots of success using English in international business. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments. And I also invite you to learn your business English confidence score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.